Hello and welcome to my RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a bank. And I got a lot of help from a guy named uh, Genius in Motion, uh, a guy at YouTube. That may, he made a tutorial on the old RPG Maker VX. So I'm just gonna show you how to make it in the Ace version. So, if you open up your RPG Maker and you're gonna make a bank, you see this is my bank. So you make a new map for that. I have my here. There it is. Uh, this is just a random room I made. So you can make whatever you want. Uh, when you make your, your bank, your bank room, make a guy and we can pick where are you you can pick that guy so first you want to do when you make a new event uh, go to 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 condition no variable operation make a new one and you have to remember which one it is we're gonna make four I take this four number 0021 and 2223 and 24 you're gonna name it <coughs> like this cash in hand The second one you name cash in bank make this small and deposit and the fourth one we draw withdraw apply press OK now we just cancel this one cancel so now we have set four different variables you can see this four cancel so the first thing when you talk to him he may ask you can put this on to welcome to my bank how may I help you press ok then you make a new one here you go to variable operation you pick the cash in hand minus 0021 cash in hand and uh, set sub substitute and you go to game data you click here and this other you go to currency press ok then ok so you make a new one here. Um, display choices, and you will type withdraw deposit balance and leave. Make it choice 4 when cancelled. It's choice 4. Press OK. Then you want to make a label at Windrow. If you press Windrow, you make a new label. Withdraw. Uh, yeah, press OK. So what it, what it makes is 
if you like press at balance you can make jump to label and you type withdraw and it will jump back here to withdraw so uh, below label you will make uh, numeric input processing in the first section here you pick the variable withdraw and set the digits to six for example you can set it to two if you want it's two digits which means you can just withdraw like 99 gold or you can set it to three digits it will be 999 gold I'm gonna set it to six you can set it to nine one hundred I don't know whatever you feel about press ok then make a new one here now you want to make text display text it says you want to withdraw now you will make um, you will make uh, backslash V V stands for the variables and make a bracket here two ones in the middle you type which variable it will be in my case it's 24 you see here withdraw is number 0024 so I put in 24 like this uh, when you make a backslash remember don't do a normal slash like that it's gonna be a backslash and so uh, you wanna you want to withdraw and he will say this amount that you set the digits to and a question quote here press ok and make a new one below here make choices display choices uh, yes no so he said uh, you want to withdraw the amount you have asked for and when you press yes we'll make a new conditional branch and you will put the variable see you pick the cash in bank the cashing bank is less than withdraw uh, something will happen so if the amount you set in cash and bank is less than the withdraw press ok you put here if it's true you have less then it will say a new text you oh sorry you don't have enough gold oh gold press ok and here in else uh, if you do have the right amount then you press here else display text and press and type like thank you press ok oh also in this first after you display the text you don't have enough gold oh I spelled that wrong enough gold you will jump to label to this label withdraw so you have to insert a new one and click on jump to label and be sure you spell this right like 
withdraw. withdraw. Check it. So it's right. W I T H D R A E. Okay. So if you don't have enough gold, uh, it will jump to th this withdraw, and you can. It will like loop this. Uh, so here on else, you will say thank you.